the Cordova Art School, and together with Canvas Press, we are going to show you today how to take this and turn it into this. So today we're going to do a toucan, and we'll show you step by step how to do that process. First thing that we'll want to do is you'll want to know your color wheel. You've got five colors. You've got your white, your black, yellow, red, and blue. In order to mix your orange today, you're going to take your yellow and your red. To mix your greens, you can take your yellow and your blue, and also you can take your yellow and your black, and that will mix this type of a nice green. This one here is the yellow and the blue. To get your lighter blue, you've got blue and white, and to get your black, we're going to do black with just a tiny bit of white, and it will thicken the paint. First, we're going to go ahead and start with the background. I'm going to lay down a light green and turn, transition it into a darker green as I head into the corners here. You'll notice that with my brush, the technique I'm using is I'm putting it down and I'm flattening it and swirling it around and twisting it a little bit. It creates these nice little bubbles for my background. It creates a nice little texture. You'll also notice that I'm just laying a quick background on. I'm covering the, the toucan all in yellow. The beak and the underneath uh, the background is going to be green. As I go down the toucan, I've, I've made them a little bit more orange, so my yellow and my red. To put in the eye, we'll just go ahead and put black. We'll put a couple layers down, so I'm not too worried about this first layer. <clears throat> now, outline his beak a little bit. You'll notice the thick to thin lines that I'm using. I purposely want to have a little bit of, of variation in my line work. Now acrylics will dry really quickly, so you'll see I'll work and I'll layer and layer and layer. I'm going back into the beak. I'm using some more greens here. Up on top of the beak there's going to be a highlight, and so we'll put a little bit of white. I'll blend it in with the yellow. Later on when I, when I do my second layer over my background, this, this beak will really start to pop off the page. Toucan's beaks have a little bit of red on the tip, so I'll put the red on the tip. You'll see a little bit more orange up on the, on the beak. And you'll notice with each layer, it will get smoother and smoother and smoother. Your first layer may be a little frustrating because you'll want it to be smooth, but on this canvas and with the, with the paints, it just, it just doesn't go perfectly smooth your first layer. And I don't want that either. The reason is I love the texture that you can get as you layer on top of layer. I'll go back into the eye now. Do a second layer. Now this is an important part of the, the bird. We want him to look like he's got some feathers. So I've taken a little bit of green and I'm, I'm putting some blue in there. And every stroke that I put is the direction that the feathers are going to be. Each stroke is about an inch to a half an inch in length. And they're just little tiny strokes that are going to look like feathers. You'll notice the areas that I'm starting to go darker and darker are the areas that are a little bit more in shadow. I'm going to thicken my blues a little bit. Every layer I put on top is going to get a little bit more opaque and smooth. I'm going to come into the eye. I'm going to put a little dot and that will represent the highlight in his eye. All around his eye I'm going to put a little bit lighter blue and that will kind of help his eye pop off the page a little bit. A little bit more greens and blues and we're getting close. So to finish your background, finish it. You can lay the paint on a little bit thicker, any colors you want. And then when you're done, remember to sign your name and you are finished. Congratulations.